often in conversations, I hear people say things like, I have to go to work, or I'm just not sure what I should be doing. And in a way, it makes me feel sad because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God created every one of us to do something specific. And when we are doing this, we will experience joy that is just insurmountable. So one question that I often ask is, do you remember what you liked to do when you were 10, 11, or 12 years old? Often people will say, oh, I don't really remember. And so I will encourage them uh, to ask their friends, their siblings, their parents, if they're still alive, or their colleagues, to find out. Because it has been my experience in the 40 plus years I've been an entrepreneur, that what we were doing when we were that age is very much related to what we were created to do. My husband's mother tells me that he wanted the Wall Street Journal for his birthday when he was 12 years old. And I am blessed to be married to someone who just loves to make money. I remember, when I thought about it, what I remembered was I had a, a small closet that was my private space, and my daddy built me a small chest of drawers in it. And my mother worked at a jewelry store, and she used to bring home the boxes that were bent that the jewelry store couldn't use. And I would uh, arrange those boxes in that chest of drawers to maximize my space. I was organizing my space. But when I asked my mother what else I did when I was young, because I didn't really remember, she said, oh, don't you remember? You used to gather the family in the parlor in grandmother's house and you preach to us. I burst out laughing because what is it that I do today but I preach organizing and productivity and more importantly, I preach the love of Jesus. If you're feeling stuck, if your life is not the life you had hoped it would be, I encourage you to think about what you like to do when you were young because I'm confident that there's a clue there about what God created you to do and who he wants you to be. His plans for us are good. That's what he promises us in his word. They're not always easy. He didn't say that we would have an easy life, but he did say that he has a plan for us and he did say that he would always be with us, that he would never leave us or forsake us. So think about what you like to do when you're young and then listen to God's thoughts about what you could be doing today to accomplish your work and enjoy your life.